Hello everyone, I am Green Eyed Gemsico and welcome to another episode of my Don't Eat the Stone Let's Play. Okay, so as you can see, oh, oh this is what I wanted to show you first. I, I have moved my little, we're calling it a, a pizza oven, it's not, it's a, a coke oven. I've moved it over here in the corner and I've put um, wool up, that took me ages to, to get that wool, uh, um, to make it like, uh, blah, 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 blah. To make it like the Italian flag. Here we go. <laughs> um, oh, we could put some more. That's just sort of getting on over there. So that, look, that looks quite nice. Little corner of my kitchen. I think that's all I've done. Oh, other than I have been out, as you can see by my hot bar, I've been out trying to collect some more bees. I've literally spent hours trying to collect these bees. And I've also been researching the bees. And oh my goodness, there's so much more to it. Then, like, I even realised there's like you breed them and you make so many different, just so many different ones. And also, what I want to do is put in, um, in the three slots. I can't even remember. I was saying about what what goes in those three slots up the up the side of the uh, what's it called? Oh, in fact, we need some sticks. Hang on. Um. Yeah, the, the three... <clears throat> okay, go again. Hello everyone, I am Greena Jemsico and welcome to episode 14 of my Don't Eat the Stone Survival Let's Play series. So, last where we left off, it was pancake day, we had made pancakes, we didn't really do much in the last episode. Um, as you can see by my, in fact, oh, what, what, I'll show you what I want to, what I'd like to show you, I built... Oh, whoa, can't get up. I can never get up there. Uh, where's my kitchen? Is it on the second floor? Yeah. I've moved my Italian pizza oven, otherwise known as a Coke oven, into the corner. And I've put uh, the, the the wall, the Italian, Italian flag wall, to make like my little Italian corner of the kitchen, which I think looks pretty cool. What I've been doing, I've spent hours and hours out on a bee hunt and... I've hardly got any, but this is what I've got. I've got um, hardly any. <laughs> so swamp ones. Is it called a swamp? A marshy princess. And I've also, though, I've been researching into the the bee stuff. And oh my, what's that? Concentrated essence. I don't remember getting that. Um, researching into the bee stuff. And there's just so, so much. There's apps. I was looking on the wiki. And there's so many different bees that you can get. So we need to start like breeding them and like cross cr cross breeding them. Is that is that how you say? It? I don't know. Um, so let's have a look what's going on at the moment. Yes. Yeah, so I also discovered that in here we put in um, what they called frames. Now you can either do. I think there's, what are they called now, there's impregnated frames, which is the ones that we're going to try and do, and there's also, I think it's untreated frames, which is the carpenter, right, this is the carpenter, so, oh, we need seed oil, is the, yes, we've got seed oil, wonderful, so, we get our seed oil, what we're going to do is, wrong bit, um, change this, we want to make, to make our, um, oh, oh, there we go, right, put seed oil. To make the impregnated frames, we need to do this. So we just put our sticks, change our oak wood, and here that should be... Is that working? Oh, no, no, we haven't turned it on. I always forget to turn it on. Is that working? Yep, that's working, perfect. So that should make us some impregnated frames that we put in our... 
apiary. I think, I don't, I'm not quite sure on what they do. I think it sort of just speeds it up or you get more. Whereas before we were only getting like one or two in here. I think if you have frames in here, you, you get more sort of out of each bee, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, so look, we've got some impregnated sticks. I think what we do is we, when we've got, I think we need two, four, six, eight. Eight impregnated sticks and a something. Um, cob, not a cobweb, whatever that thing is that you get off a spider. I can't think what it's called. <laughs> so we'll just wait here until we, until we get six. And then we'll go down and we'll try. In fact, that'll only make us one frame, won't it? Oh, never mind. We'll just get one frame for now. And then, right, let's. Then we can always just leave that making. Oh, oh, oh! I'm such an idiot! <laughs> Respawn! I do that all the time coming down here. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> Whoops! Gather up all our stuff, stick on our armour, rearrange everything back again. Where are they? They are. Wonderful. <laughs> right. What were we doing now? We were making impregnated frames. Uh, mob drop string, that's what it's called. Uh, oh yeah, look there. So yeah, so untreated, an untreated frame is just normal sticks I think you use for it. But we want to make impregnated because I assume they're better. I don't really know, but I assume they are just because they're harder to make. And we'll go and stick that up. Should we take some more bees with us, actually? Take some more bees. I don't think... I wonder if I can put the marshy ones. I can't put the wintry ones here because... Where's the exit? Because of the temperature, I need to go to... In fact, we possibly could do that because we've got a cold area just over by our quarry. Or just over sort of in that direction. I could go and put another apiary down and start doing stuff with the cold ones, wintry, wintry drones and things. So let's put in, see what happens, put an impregnated frame in there. That should do something a bit different. We'll come back and check on that in a little minute. Okay, so whilst we're waiting for the bees, I thought we'd start on the track to go over to the mines. Because it's been sort of something I was Sort of planning on doing for ages and I just haven't sort of got round to it. So we need we've got our we've got wooden track and I'm assuming we need to do some wooden booster tracks. Where did I put all the creosote? Right, we'll get all this creosote and we'll make some wooden ties. Because we need the wooden ties. Um let's use that. See if we can make wooden ties. Um, oh, don't do you know? I don't. Can I not use that wood? Spruce wood. Surely I can use spruce wood. It's slabs, isn't it? Slabs and slabs and one of them for a wooden tie. Yeah, I thought it was. But we're going to need quite a lot. I can't stack buckets, can we? Right, let's get all these. Right, now we've got the wooden ties. We need the recipe for the booster... The booster rail, the wooden booster rail. Track, whatever it's called. And it requires redstone and gold, which you would imagine it would. So let's see. Please let it pop up in here, otherwise it's just going to be a nightmare <laughs> to try and figure it all out. Oh, what's this? Oh no, blinds. Oh, wooden rail bed. Right, we need some wooden rail beds. Should we get... I think I need more. I haven't got enough... Um, what's it called yet? Hmm. How do we make... Oh, do we need iron. We need iron, I think. I don't know. <laughs> Let's stick some iron in, see if we get any booster tracks. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go, look, fab. A wooden booster track, so we'll get them. Can we make any more track whilst we're here? Oh, oh, no! 
It changed. What did I make? Wooden post. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, no, we can't get any more track. We need... Let's go and get some more. We'll stick these buckets back up in our pizza oven. Uh, coke oven, whatever it is. Oh, in fact, it's bedtime. We'll stick these up and then we'll go up to bed. Oh, why can't I... Um, oh, am I just... Oh, I'm just pushing the bucket. What's happening? Why can't I get... Um, why, why is this happening? I don't know what happened then, I couldn't, I'd have to hit it with an empty hand. I think I must have to hit it with an empty hand. Okay, I'm full. Ah! Ah! Stop it! <laughs> right, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Can I pick that up? No, I can't pick that up. Well, I'm going to have to go and put some of these things back down. Okay, so I can't go to bed. As you can see, there are monsters nearby, so we shall have to do something else instead. We might as well just start on the track. I have no idea whether I need sort of redstone torches or sort of what I need. Have I got, let me just check, I've got ladders. Are they ladders? Yep, to get back up. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so I don't know how... I'm not really an expert, even like in vanilla, I'm no expert at building track at all, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So I might just have a little fiddle around and a little little play in it, play at it, and I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I've just built the um, rail all the way through the tunnel to the quarry area. I thought I've put a bit, blah, blah, I've put a mine car down under there, I haven't been on it yet. Um, I thought I'd get all the wintry stuff, make an apiary, and we might as well put our snowy bees over there. I don't know what's just happened. I was just in in there, and there was just one almighty bang. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it was on the game. It wasn't, like, in real life. So I don't know whether... I don't know. Some, like, just massive bang. It was weird. I don't know what it was. Um. Right, okay. So, down here. Let's go. As you can see, I've built it all. I've put redstone underneath. Let's go. Let's just push ourselves along. And I'll be... Oh. Is this as fast as it goes? This is really slow. <laughs> this is such a disappointment. I thought it was going to be really fast. This is slower than um, vanilla. Oh well, it will be quicker to walk, but never mind. I'll just speed it up and pretend we're going really fast. Whee! Yay, finally we're here. That, that was really hard. Weeing for that length of time. That took ages. So, I don't know what to do about that because that's pretty rubbish. There obviously, it's a way of doing it faster. We'll have to figure something out. Right, it's night time at the moment and I'm a bit apprehensive about going out there. In case there's any... Googly what's it? So let's stick our head up and see if there's anything around. Oh! Okay, okay. there's the answer to that. Where, where is he? Oh, it's just a normal one. We can handle... Oh, I say we can handle a normal one. Let's... Where is he? There. Oh, there we go. Yes, that's fine. We can handle a normal one. It's any of the other ones that we can't handle. Maybe, actually, I might just go back. Who are you? I can't collect that. My inventory is full. Where's the s where's the sun? There is no sun. It's night time. Where's the moon? Can't see it. I don't want anyone creeping up behind me and killing me. Anyway, right. Let's try and let's go and see. Oh, our quarry. Are we full? Oh, we're full. I'm full as well. Hang on, hang on. Let me put my apiary down. And we'll collect that. Have I got anything of any use in here? I don't think so. Um, no, nothing spectacular. Never mind. Right, okay, let's see. If we look in this one, we didn't go and look at our one at the, um, on the top to see what the, um, what's it called? Oh, what was it called? We put in the impregnated, uh, Frame. We didn't see how that had affected it. Right, so let's put in. Oh, we've got a wintry 
let's put a wintry princess and a wintry drone and see what it says. Temperature, right, it's cold, good. Did you know crossbreeding drones and princesses of different species may net you offspring with a new species? Oh, well, actually, yes, I've just found out that. All right, okay, so it's not daytime. So, we will wait. Oh, hang on, it's starting to work. Yes. So these don't need any type of flowers or anything around. They are just happy with the environment as it is. Okay, right, let's just move some of this cobble over here into this chest. So it can that mine can carry on working. Um, right, so we've got so we've got a cold bee. Does this stop working, my quarry? I wonder if we've reached the bottom. I don't think we have. Oh, I can't see. I don't. Why has it stopped? Why have you stopped, quarry? Should we turn these off and back on again and see if? Good old technical solution to everything. Off and on. No, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, we'll just leave it off for now. Okay, so we've got those bees. Oh no, hang on. Oh, five members are not finding the right flowers. Okay, so I obviously do need flowers. I wonder if... if there's any flowers just around. I wonder if they're okay with just... Let's just whack a few flowers and see if they like these flowers. I'll put some of these around their hive. This is this is what is kind of in their environment, so you would think that these would be the flowers that they would like, but maybe not. Let's go and stick them around. Do you like those flowers? No, clearly not. Okay, I'm going to go and figure out what flowers they like. Oh, hang on. Do I see something coming out then? Oh, no. No, it was the bird flying. Oh no! It was, I did see something. They are coming out. They are coming out. Okay, we'll leave them. Leave them doing their thing. I, I almost feel like I want to walk. I might as well walk rather than use that rail system. It was absolutely... It was just too slow. I'm really disappointed in that. No, I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. Let's close it. Obviously, I'm going to skip this though, guys, because you don't want to watch me going back as slowly as I came. Oh, actually, no, because you saw me whizzing down the track like there was no tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side, guys. Wow, that was painful. Right. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and check these bees up here now. I'm maybe try and put in one of the marshy ones that we've got and see if we can put the marshy princess with like a um, are they called a meadow? meadow drone or something? I can't remember now we'll let's have a look oh! we've got two meadow drones a meadow's princess what, right let's put in a marshy drone and a meadows princess does that do anything let's wait and see what happened oh, i didn't realize they've got a uh, what's it called um durability things oh what do we make oh a meadows queen we just made a meadows queen we didn't make anything good right let's put a marshy princess with a meadows drone see what that does i want something different I'm sick of these meadows ones. Oh, a marshy queen. Okay. Should I then put a marshy... See what we get with a marshy queen. Or do I just leave them in now? i just leave them, don't I? Do I? Yes, i just leave that now to do its sort of... To do its work. I'll just leave that. Okay. Now what I want to do, I have been looking into... One of the mods I was looking into um, in between episodes was the Tinker's Construct mod. Now, it looks amazing um i'd set all this up i think sort of at the very beginning of the series because i start i haven't got the books on me but i just, let's go and put these bees back i started the let's play obviously with the books that you get with the tinkers construct and so i kind of started making the things and then I just stopped doing it for whatever reason i think it was too complicated i didn't really understand what i needed to do but i watched a 
what's it called? Those cows are really doing my head in when I come in here. I might have to move them and do something. Um, I watched a really good tutorial by, I think it was Dyer, Dyer Wolf 20 I put a link to the tutorial that I watched in the description anyway. Uh, it was really, really good, telling you about everything that you need to do. So what we need to do is, what have we got here? We've got a tool rod pattern. So we need a tool rod pattern. Let's, now how do we make patterns? I can't remember now. I think it was just sticks and... I've got I've got some pattern there, but we need sticks and those I think not those uh sticks yeah excellent so we'll just make ourselves a couple of blank patterns and then what we do is we go in we don't go in the part builder we go in the stencil table and you just pick sort of what um what patterns you want so by clicking next pattern next pattern obviously previous pattern or whatever and sort of to figure out what you need if you go into your tool station if you click on so say you wanted a pickaxe it'll tell you what parts you need so you need a pickaxe head a tool binding and a handle so we would need those those three um what are they called patterns so let's see if we can get those patterns now wrong one what have I got already? Hang on. <laughs> I've got a tool rod pattern and a shovel head. So let's stick our stencils in there. And we want a pickaxe head. We wanted that tool binding thing, that cross. And was that all we needed? I think it was. Oh, there's absolutely loads. I need, have I got any iron on me? Let's just go and get some iron. All the different, it just looks absolutely amazing. You can use, I'll just use iron for this because I don't really understand all the different materials that you can use to make different things. But they all do different, where's the book? Is it that one I think probably. I'm sure the book will tell you everything. Well, in fact the book tells you what you need as well. So. A pickaxe. A pickaxe is a basic mining tool. Yeah, okay. Precision tool. Fine. And then shovel, hatchet, all the different things you can make. But then it's, I think it's got, yeah, so your material traits. So you could just make a wood thing, stone, iron. But each sort of your handle, I tell you, it's really complicated, but just watch the tutorial. If you're doing something with Tinker's Mod, Tinker's Mod, Tinker's Construct Mod, um, watch the tutorial that I put in the video because it's really really useful um so yeah you can use like flint and cactus and obsidian bone all sorts and they all have different different durabilities different modifiers different things that you can do with them it looks really interesting so uh let's see a part builder so we're gonna put the head I think we put the head like that oh that's that not right Oh, do you know, I was watching an update about it, that you can't put iron in... Oh my goodness, it's more complicated than I thought it was. No! Um, Can we just put, like, wood in there, then? We can just put wood in there, but that, that's really not that good. But as you see, you keep your, your... Obviously, you keep your pattern. Let's just make make wood, wood ones. I don't know. A wood binding. Can we get a stick back? Nice. And a handle. A wooden tool rod. Oh, so that just looks like a stick, but it is actually a wooden tool rod. Oh, I'm very disappointed because I watched I watched a couple of his videos, uh, Die Wolves, and um, one of them was one way of doing things, and then there was an updated one. Well, obviously, I, like I'm still thinking about the, the older version. Oh, yay, we have wooden pickaxe. Excellent. That's just useless. Don't know why I've even just made that. But anyway, I'm going to look into this a bit more because it is fantastic, amazing. Okay, so I've just been to sleep. I just want to go and check on these bees and see what is going on. Anything happening? Nothing happening. It's, oh, it's not working. Okay. They're not finding the right flowers. Right, so what flowers do they need? Marshy queens. How? Right, I'm gonna go and figure out what flowers they okay, need. Okay, so the marshy apparently need mushrooms. 
surely if I put mushrooms down here, they're going to like pop up because it's not dark enough for the mushrooms. Is this still going? No. Um, oh, this is all so tricky. Right, I'm going to... Oh, I don't know what to do. I think I might just go ahead and end this episode. Oh, nearly did it again. Fall to my death point. What I think I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to end this episode here, I think, guys. And I'm going to do some more research into Tinker's Mod, into the forestry stuff and the bees. Because there's just oh, so much going on <laughs> in my head. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um... If you would like to subscribe, click on the link above or on the link in the description. And I will see you all soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bless you.